WB4BOR Ham Radio. Let's get started. Hey guys, WB4BOR here. Uh, this is uh, my new channel, and I'm starting uh, this channel to announce my development and work that I've been doing with KM6LYW on a new ham radio service called Repeat. The new service allows you to send an APRS message to the repeat call sign to find the closest repeaters to your latest uh, APRS beacon. So if you are out and about driving around and you didn't spend the time beforehand before your trip to write down all the list of repeaters that you have in the area um, and you're unfamiliar with it, then this service is for you because it will allow you to find the nearest repeaters to where your current APRS beacon is. So uh, I'll scroll down here a little bit and it shows uh, this is a very simple format. Um, you, the very first part of it is um, the word nearest, which can also be shortened to just N. The number of stations that you want or repeaters that you want to be returned. The band that you want to use and the default is two meter band and a list of filters and those filters are capabilities of the actual repeater itself say for example a repeater has echolink support well you can actually do a search with this and get back the nearest echolink uh, repeater to your current uh, beacon and you can see down here in the examples uh, how easy it is to make these requests um, and there's different um, number of examples here to show how if you just want the closest two meter repeater uh, give me two of the closest two meter repeaters and the shorthand version of that give me three of them give me the closest 70 uh, centimeter repeater and then the filters here as well so um, these are the list of supported uh, frequency bands all the ones that you would expect um, in a VHF um, and here's the list of uh, filters supported. They're, they're um, fairly limited, but um, these are specific features that the repeaters may or may not support. And some of them support multiples of them, so you can actually, uh, what is not listed on here in the format, but you can provide multiple filters at the same time if you want. So um, if for whatever reason you wanted to say, give me uh, all the repeaters that have Echo Link plus D Star, you can provide both of those and return both of those for you. Um, one of the other features on the website itself is this tab which is public and these are the number of uh, ham call signs that have actually been using this service since the last time it started which is about two days ago and the number of requests that they've made um, and then um, this is some of the raw JSON that gets back from the back end um, and the contact information uh, provides you with the ability to get in touch with me. Um, uh, I develop actively on this uh, every week, every month, and we have a Slack server that you can join and join in the conversation. If you find issues, if you have questions about the repeat service, you can get on there. You can also follow me on Twitter and then Patreon, of course, to help support the effort of keeping the service up and running. Um, all right, so this is the repeat website. Um, what this is built on is APRSD, and APRSD is a Python service that I will uh, create other videos about, but quickly it is a way to um, uh, listen to packets coming in on the APRS uh, network, send it through a set of plugins or filters, and then allow those filters to provide responses, and that's exactly what the repeat plugin does. Um, you can see the list of plugins. This is my actual instance of APRSD up and running that uh, houses the um, repeat service and it provides some statistics about it. Uh, this is the admin interface to APRSD itself uh, so you can watch the number of packets and messages over time and, and the list of messages that are actually sent and received are here. Um, and if I scroll back you can see uh, me requesting from my radio um, find me the nearest echo link repeater and the reply to that was was this raw message here all right so I plan on trying to do a demo of that and let's see if I can get my phone to record this demo
I'm going to record it here, and then I'll overlay it after I'm done here. So I'm going to shoot this. Let's send a message to the repeat service. And we're just going to say, give me the nearest repeater. And you can do that easily by sending the message of simply just N. Um, that will provide you with one repeater only. All right, sent that message. And we got an ACK, and there is the repeater um, the reply. Let's go back here, and you can see the reply. It's N3OG, it's 146.61 megahertz, a tone of 136.5, and it's 17.5 miles to my west from my current beacon from my little Kenwood here. And if we scroll up here, we should see the messages that I just sent here. Um, yes, there it is. So this is the message that I just sent, and then this is the reply from APRSD itself. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. You can, um, I guess I can demonstrate a couple of others, uh, which is fetching, let's say, two repeaters or one with echo link. Um, we can get the two closest repeaters uh, that have echo link support. And let's fire up the Ken one again. And we will send a reply this time, uh, or send a message to uh, the repeat service uh, that has N space 2, because I want two echo link and, uh, repeaters, and then I have to add the filter, which is plus echo. Um, let's see, all right, so there's the plus. All right, so it's N space two space plus echo, and that's what we're gonna send. All right, and there's the ACK, and there's both of the repeaters. And you can see them showing up here on the messages page for APRSD. Um, here is my message that I sent right here from my Kenwood radio. Um, Here's the expanded version with all the packet information, the path and whatnot. Um, and then the response, which was an act to the original message, and then the two repeaters. So here's the first one, and um, both of these support echo link. Um, and I'm still getting acts. You can hear it on my radio. <laughs> um, so the first one is WR4CV, and then the next one is KE4KEH. And both of those support echo link. And uh, that sh highlights some of the, um, the really cool features about uh, the repeat service, as well as the web page that you're looking at here, which is the admin page to APRSD itself. It provides you know all kinds of whiz bangs. It shows the that it's been up for two days, and for those two days, I've I've sent it 80 plus messages. It's uh, or about 60. Sorry, it's sent about. Um, Let's see, 51 acts, it's received a total of 80 packets that it's seen, um, and it's sent uh, 34 messages back and whatnot. Um, uh, these are all the call signs that this instance of APRSD has seen since it was started. Um, these are the plugins that are enabled. I can't show you the config, I just show some of my passwords and, and um, stuff like that. Um, and APRSD allows you, you can send a message to anyone from, from this web page itself. Um, and I'll set up another video to talk about APRSD itself later, but what we are just demonstrating is the actual repeat service. Um, and it's, it's live now, anybody can send a message to it and find the nearest repeaters to their current location. Um, and if you have any feedback whatsoever and, um, and want to get in touch with me, the best way to do that uh, is this contact information on the webpage again, which is APRS-repeat.hemna.com. Uh, you can join the Slack server and have a live discussion with me, um, and I am on the East Coast time zone. Um, and I also have a Twitter page, WB4BOR, which is related to all of my APRS and ham radio related um, activity. 
And if you like this service a lot, I'd appreciate it if you could provide any kind of support. And I have a Patreon page here, uh, WB4BOR as well, if you'd like to support um, keeping the service up and running, as well as development on APRSD, the repeat service. Um, I also have uh, many other plugins I'll like to talk about, and I will create some more videos on those later to talk about um, general purpose APRSD built in plugins that provide weather, time, Twitter, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, anyway, that's it for me today. So, um, I hope you found this informative, and see you next time.